Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. I got a top from a charging station here. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to test the components here in the top of this uh, charging station. If, you know, your mower is not charging and you're wondering, well, is it something in the charging station or is the batteries in the mower or something else in the mower? This is how you're going to narrow it down. You're going to remove this from the, the charging station tower so you can get in here you can unplug this from the uh, the charging station circuit board because you're going to go through and you're going to test the uh, the continuity between um, this end of the wire and up here this end you're going to do that for the positive end and negative as you can see there's there's um, a pinkish red wire here and a black wire so you got a hot and uh, a negative and that's what you got coming out here you got your, your negative there and you got your positive there so it's very simple, you just got the two wires, but you have multiple points here where you could lose continuity and uh, spots where the, where resistance could build up. So instead of trying to show you on here, we'll start out with a bare harness here. This is the, this is the contacts where the mower comes in and pushes against to do its charging. And then you have, you have these screws right here with a nut on the backside. And that's what holds this wire tight to the contact. So there's always the possibility for uh, this nut to come loose. We've actually seen that many times over the years. And there's also the possibility for rust or corrosion or something to build up between this, this screw head and, uh, and the, the contact here. Then you have <clears throat> the plug down here. So there's always a possibility of some kind of corrosion or something forming in there or something being defective with that plug maybe one of the one of the connectors isn't in there tight and it pushes out um, you know a couple possibilities so it's always good to be able to, to check this stuff out and know how to test it before you just go replacing it because <clears throat> again it's just better to know that the parts you're replacing need to be replaced and why you're replacing them and it's actually going to fix the, the problem rather than just shotgunning a bunch of parts at it and saying well you know, I replaced 17 parts, so it finally fixed it. Good thing I bought all those parts. Um, we're going to test the resistance. So, multimeter and uh, put one probe in the plug where it goes into the charging station board. Make sure you get some good contact there. And then I always start at the furthest point because if you test this and you've got low resistance, then you know you're good. You can stop there. If it's high, then you come back to the next points and see, you know, try to figure out where it's getting bottlenecked, your, where your, your current coming through, where it's getting bottlenecked, where the resistance is at. It's kind of like um, your, your current is like, is like that rush hour traffic, you know, and you want to find out where that red light's at, where's that, where's that bottleneck at, slowing everything down and keeping it from getting through. That's what you're looking for. So we got our one probe here and the plug on the positive side that's on the, the pink wire and then we'll just check out here see what we got so you get good contact there and we're below one ohm so that's good you know that that means everything is good everything should flow right through there this wire this whole assembly on this side is good then we'll move to the other side check the negative side and come out here and try to find a good spot on this contact oops without losing my my spot in the plug and see what we got here and again we're below we're below one ohm so we're good we've got good continuity the whole way through this this wiring harness assembly that's good Which obviously that's a brand new one so it better be now in this old one here you know it should be the same thing you have you have these um, these contacts out here but you can see that when you compare them to the new ones this is brown and looks very dingy and oxidized there's one shiny spot right there and if you take this this plug and you go to check the continuity coming through here again actually let's let's start with the negative first on this side because i got something to show you on the positive side uh so we're, we're checking the negative wire and if you just put that down there on that you can see we have no continuity there i can't believe there's none at all but this is very oxidized, so there we go. Just had to scrape into it a little bit. 
So that's not terrible. This would still pass voltage through it, but it's not as good, obviously, as that new one. Um, if you find this bright spot right here where the mower's been rubbing against it, you're going to get a better reading. See that? So that's what I was saying. At first, I had no continuity, and then when I scraped the, the probe into it a little bit, you know, then it dropped way down, and it, it got better. Let's see if I can get that to do it again. Yeah, there we go. So I scraped the point into a little bit, just like right here when I touch this bare spot. It gets better. Now, technically, that voltage and that continuity should spread the whole way out this spring right here because that's a metal spring pressing against this metal contact. And you can see if we touch against this, this spring, there you go. We're under 1 ohm. So the voltage is flowing the whole way through this harness. You know, no issues there on this side. We'll go over here to the positive side and uh, we'll check it out. Now this one here, I will warn you, is not going to be the same and I purposely made it that way because as I was just describing, one of the errors that we see on charging stations from time to time, check right here at the shiny spot, eh, it's better than I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> kind of backfired on me. I loosened this wire up here because, like I said, we see these these nuts every now and then will come loose on here. And uh, if you go to the shiny spot here, you can you can get it to work okay. But if that wiggles around a little bit, or maybe it's probably just doing that because I did wiggle the head of the screw around and it's digging in there. But you get the you get the hint. So that's, that's going to work, but the mower comes in there and pushes that, you know, and it's not going to work properly if that wire is loose. <clears throat> and then out here on our spring, like I said, on the other side, we can get continuity the whole way through there, and it looks good. On this side, you can see all the corrosion and the, uh, the oxidation on this, this contact, and when we touch it against this spring right here, nowhere like the other side, we've got some very high resistance. We're up there in the... Uh, let's see if I push down on it. We're up there in the 30s. Yeah, 34 and a half ohms of resistance. Compared to over here, we had, we had what, point, point 0.7, like less than 1 ohm. So that's what you want to look for. You know, if you've got good continuity, you have less than 1 ohm of resistance, you're really good. Uh, if, you, if you're to the point where you have about 1 maybe just a little bit more. It's probably going to work, but you're taking a chance of it it's slowly getting weaker and weaker. And you can see on this one, see if I can hold up here and get the camera just right. You know, like I said, these are these um, contacts, they're much darker than the new ones. You know, when you look at them, you can visually see a difference there. But when you look on the inside, which is going to be hard for you guys to see, uh, you can actually see that there is there is corrosion on there. There's spots where these are green. And then there's the, the bare bright spots where the mower was rubbing against it certain ways. This looks like here where it was coming in, the charging station wasn't set quite right. So the contacts were going in under it rather than pushing against it. And you'll get that sometimes if your charging station plate's not level. And that's a good indicator. <laughs> that's what was happening here because this part right here on the bottom is rubbed bare and on the insides you don't have a whole lot of scraping there where this would push out from the the plates on the charging station would push that out and scrape against that to kind of brighten that up a little bit and make better contact so another thing you want to look at there um you know when you see something like this and you're testing it you can say oh yeah i better do something about my charging station level it up so my motor can come in and make good contact right here on these these curved parts of the contact because that's where it's supposed to hit that's why that's that's um radiused out like that so it makes it, it makes it easier for the the sides of the mower's contact strips to hit against it and it'll keep wearing in there and it'll keep that nice and shiny and keep good connectivity there um as it does that whereas on the bottom you got that one little hump you know it's working but how long is going to keep working that's the uh that's a million dollar question. But that's it there. So if, if you've got a problem where your mower's not charging and you're wondering if it's the charging station or if it's something in the mower, 
uh, batteries or something like that. Now you know how to check this harness here inside the charging station. Another thing I forgot to show you on this one was when we took this one apart, we actually found that inside the charging station, this wire or something got in there and was eating it apart. Or it could have just been that it was getting getting dry rotted and falling apart. But anyway, the, uh, the insulation was coming off of this. So this is another spot where you can start to get corrosion, just like in your boundary wire. You know, this is out there in the elements. And uh, if this wire is exposed for a long period of time to to moisture and humidity, it's going to start to corrode. It's going to start to to um, not be able to pass the voltage through it as well as a brand new, nice shiny wire. So, again, something to look for when you uh, when you're investigating your charging station to see what's going on and why your battery's not charging. So, hopefully, you guys can understand that and follow that. Uh, like I keep saying. We love selling you parts, but we want to make sure you're buying the right parts that are going to fix the, the problem you actually have and you're not just uh, wasting your hard-earned hard -earned money on parts that you don't really need that are just being used in connection with ones that actually solve the problem. So I guess that's a good spot to, uh, to wrap this one up. As always, if you're looking for parts for your automower or for your charging station, if you're looking to buy an automower, you're looking for automower accessories, or you just need some technical support for your automower check out our website www.roboticmowerservices.com if you don't see what you're looking for on the website send us an email roboticmowerservices at gmail.com and we'll try to get you hooked up the best we can that's going to do it so uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching